Hey y'all. Oh, MG. First of all, I'm loving my hair. It's so fluffy. I'm loving this carefree look. So I decided to leave it like this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But anyway, y'all, I'm so happy today. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Um, today has been a really good day. I've been really productive today. I've got a lot done and I feel really good about it. But what I'm really feeling good about is the backyard. This is why I'm outside. So y'all, the pool construction has begun and um, I'm looking at it and it's just like in disbelief almost it's a plane flying by <laughs> i don't know if y'all can hear that but yeah so the backyard renovation rejuvenation all the asians <laughs> things have started and this project should be wrapped up within the next couple of weeks which is mind-blowing as well so we got the pool here we got the hot tub the concrete and everything has been poured i would pan and show y'all but it looks a mess <laughs> Like they tore our yard up because you know when that big of a project is going on it's a lot of digging it's a lot of moving and it's just like dirt and <laughs> chaos everywhere so I'm not going to show y'all just yet I'll of course make a video of the whole project and um, the process of it but yeah that's why we have all this crap on our patio because we had to move it out the way so they can do their construction stuff and it is finally coming all together and it will be finished soon so now that we have the big you know major things finalized like the scale the measurements of the pool the measurements of the hot tub and the fire pit the towel selections the colors everything like that has been finalized now that that's done i'm starting to tackle the decor and the other things that we need to add to make this backyard what we want it to be to give it the vibe that we want to have the functionality that we want because you know it's all about the details the details are what makes things come together so i was looking in the catalog the other day and I saw some pillows that I want to put on the couch also going to get some potted plants because I saw that on a makeover show I love watching home decor and home makeover shows just going to make it feel more homey more inviting I think and then I just got something the other day that I want to show you guys and that is this baby right here so this is a bullet ice maker from high cozy and it goes great on the counter on the outdoor kitchen so once the backyard is all up and running it's gonna be a hangout spot a chill spot it's gonna be an outdoor oasis just like i was telling y'all and this ice maker i just feel it completes the vibe because when you're out here you're gonna want to lounge kick back have a nice drink and with a nice drink you're gonna need ice so this is perfect for that it has two different ice settings you can do small or large super easy to use just pour some water into the max line press the power button choose your ice size and then press start and and it starts making ice within six to ten minutes so it starts cranking out ice extremely fast you don't have to wait hours and hours and hours for ice so i'm just imagining having the sun beaming on me i'm sitting out here lounging with a nice book grab a drink from the fridge get some ice there's nothing better than sipping on a cold drink on a hot day lounging by the pool and i cannot wait so i thought that this would be a perfect addition for our outdoor oasis cool and refreshing another great feature is the pull out ice basket allows for one-handed operation so you can multitask with this super easily cooking up some stuff with one hand and then making a drink for themselves with the other with most conventional bullet ice makers the opening is at the top so you lift a top up and you get the ice out that way but with this one it has a pull out front where it dispenses the ice and so it doesn't take up a lot of space it comes out in the front and out at the top so if you're in a tight space or you have low cabinets this is still going to work for you so yeah we're definitely going to be getting a ton of you from that little machine especially in the summertime when I plan on being outside in the yard parlaying pretty much all day so it'll be really convenient to have an ice maker out there everything all ready to go I don't have to come in and out in and out in and out but yeah you guys if you're interested in the high cozy bullet ice maker I will put the link below check it out so y'all for some reason lately I've been having a real hankering for a grilled cheese sandwich so let me show y'all I bought some cheese <laughs> so i bought some vegan cheese because y'all know i don't eat cow's milk cheese <laughs> i bought some of this um because i've been seeing a bunch of people say that this vegan cheese is really good well this brand i don't know about this specific kind but it says it's just like american sandwich slices and it's free from dairy soy gluten lactose nuts or preservatives i also have some why didn't i get this out when i opened the fridge the first time um 
Where is it? Oh. <laughs> I also got some soup. I got this red lentil doll with spinach soup. I already had some. <laughs> So I'm gonna make this grilled cheese. Hopefully it's good, y'all. Usually make my grilled cheese. Well, I don't make grilled cheeses that often because I don't buy um, vegan cheese much. But when I do get a hankering, I usually use the Daya slices and they're pretty good. But I'm gonna see if this is better. So let's cook this up and I'll give you my honest opinion. All right, I got my vegan butter. Just gonna take some wheat bread and add mm, one and a half slices. This is gonna be a very basic grilled cheese. <laughs> Okay, this is what we got. Grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. And my soup. All right, let's see what this grilled cheese is hidden for. See if it's actually good. I'm biting around it like this, like a crazy person. Because I kind of burnt it. <laughs> right there on the other side but i'm not mad at it it still does have kind of like a artificial cheese flavor i don't know why a lot of the vegan cheeses do so hmm, maybe i'll make it again and not burn it soup is really good as always mr fussy Ugh. yo to eat a meal Uninterrupted these days is a luxury. <laughs> um, especially with this guy. He likes to make his presence known. Just had to go grab him because he was whining. And let me show y'all what I have to do. This is what I do. Uh-oh, are you burping? With him especially. I don't, I've never had to do it with his brother. It's just him. I have to soothe like this. So I get the stroller, put him in the stroller when he's being fussy and he doesn't want to calm down. Cause he likes to be held. He likes to be held. And sometimes I just cannot hold him. I have to do other things. So I'll put him in the stroller and I'll just like stroll it back and forth while I'm eating, cooking, cleaning, doing whatever. If he's incredibly fussy, like he won't calm down. I'll just stroll him around the house, stroll him around, stroll him around, stroll him around. Kind of like a car ride. You know how babies calm down in the car? This is like my version of that when we're not in the car and this really helps them. So we just make a little loop. <laughs> and now he is, oh, no, 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 no. Thought he was calm, hold on. It's not meal time for another hour. Well, like another 45 minutes. So I'm trying to hold off because we really have to keep both boys on the same schedule because just in order to keep everything together. But yeah, I think I just bought maybe about five, 10 minutes until he starts <laughs> fussing again. But y'all, it's so funny because the other day I was asked if I would have more kids after the twins. And the crazy part is, is I was like, Absolutely. I would absolutely have more kids. And it's crazy to me because for so long, I was the person that I thought I was one and done. I had one kid. I was like, I'm never having any more kids. I think I'm done. I don't want any more. I used to think that people that had big families and had a lot of kids, like more than two. If you had more than two kids, to me, you were crazy. You were out of your mind. You were nuts. Why would you want more than two kids? What will be the purpose? But now I have four and I'm like, I would want more. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm going like insane a little bit. <laughs> but I just think it's so uncanny how your just your feelings change about big things like this. Like 
the size of your family and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, so far I have been having a blast. Um, obviously having twins, it is kind of a different thing. It's a different situation. It's different just having two infants to take care of, but it's not as hard. It's not as difficult as I thought it would be, at least not yet. <laughs> so hopefully that continues, but I haven't um, felt overly stressed or overly overwhelmed or overly tired. Yeah, everything. Oh, hold on. Now he wants to act up again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been, it's been fun. It's been a fun ride so far. I mean, clearly we are just starting out. We're just getting to know each other and everything like that, but it's been fun. And I really wouldn't mind having maybe one more, one more, maybe one more. But the only thing is I don't know about actually carrying another child because this birth, <laughs> it kind of like scarred me in a way. I'm like, I don't want to go through a C-section again, um, but I did enjoy being pregnant. I really like it. I wouldn't mind another one. Just don't be crying all the time, please. I wouldn't mind another one, y'all. As crazy as it sounds, I know. <laughs> One thing that has helped so much is keeping them on a schedule, like a feeding schedule, a sleeping schedule, just having that synced up. And I got that um, advice a lot from twin parents or on, online and even like the staff in the hospital. While I was in postpartum recovery, one of the nurses had twins. She was telling me about her twins and she was telling me, you know, keep them on a schedule, just little tips and stuff. So we definitely have been doing that. <laughs> he's sucking his fingers. I think he's ready for meal time, but you gotta... Hold on, buddy. And then we've upped their feeding because they are just ravenous. They eat so much. So we've upped their feeding, which keeps them pretty calm for the most part between feedings. And then, yeah, lately I have um, introduced tummy time. So a little bit of play for them during the day. But y'all, yesterday I just got my six week clearance. My six week postpartum clearance, all is clear. My C-section scar is, I think she says healed or mostly healed, <laughs> um, but everything looks good. And I can now start exercising, which I am really excited about to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. But y'all, can you believe that I have lost already 50 freaking pounds? <laughs> that is so mind boggling to me because the fact that I have 50 extra pounds on me and I still have a ways to go before I get back to my pre-pregnancy weight, y'all, I blew up this pregnancy, especially towards the end. So I've lost 50 pounds. I haven't exercised. I haven't been eating especially healthier or anything like that. I've really done nothing. It just kind of fell off right after I gave birth because I was telling you guys about, um, I had a lot of water weight on me as well. So a lot of that flushed out super fast. And now I feel like I'm plateauing now after all that weight came off but now that I have the clear I can exercise get active and get the rest of this weight off so let me show y'all real quick what I'm looking like um now let me prop you up actually okay so this is what I'm looking like right now do, 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 do. so as you can see I've slimmed down quite a lot just naturally but i do have some extra weight on my arms legs and especially in my midsection area it's all good this is a good starting point because um now that i can work out i feel like i can hit it hard and get rid of this mommy pooch you know pretty quickly so we shall see but that is the goal but yeah i'm feeling really really good i'm feeling back to my old self pretty much 100 percent and um i do just have a tiny tiny bit of soreness still at the incision site but nothing really crazy only if i touch it or if i move a certain way like i don't know like if i move regular i don't feel it but if i <laughs> move a, a certain way I do feel it but other than that feeling fantastic have all my energy so I feel like by summertime I'm gonna be back in action I'm gonna be back to my fighting weight you feel me stomach is really dark you know it'll lighten up I guess after a while because it gets darker during pregnancy well it, for me it does um, all the time and then you know you get that line so that'll lighten up hopefully if not whatever but yeah that's the fitness starting point.
grocery shopping i'll show you guys what i bought we just needed a few things because we had ran out here so i got a bag of spinach always have to have spinach in the house and we don't have any right now well we have some now i got some mushrooms baby bella another staple in here some of this palmini hearts of palm linguine and this i really really like because i love pasta but I don't love how many carbs are in pasta and y'all know I'm trying to, you know, get on my summer's time slim down. So this is like, I can eat all the pasta I want without the guilt because it's only, let's see, two net grams of carbs per serving. So I love this stuff and I really find it quite tasty. I got this pack of organic black refried beans. Smoky Chipotle. I've showed you this before. Um, I made homemade black bean burgers with it. Flavor's really good, and I like that it's already pureed, you know, mashed up. So this is really great to make some homemade black bean burgers, which is what I'm gonna use it for. I was gonna get like two or three packs because I always use this, but they only had one pack. I don't know what's up with the supply right now, but I'll get some more when they restock. Got a red and yellow onion. Got a couple avocados. I'm trying to be quick because both of the babies are quiet right now and not fussy. So, <laughs> you know, this is like a good moment. But anyway, so I also got organic coconut chips. Got some unsweet vanilla almond milk yogurt alternative for, you know, breakfast time. I could make like a granola parfait type of deal. Add some fruit, granola, some of my coconut chips and that'll be good. I also got organic Worcestershire sauce. This is gluten-free, vegan, yeah. This will go great in my black bean burgers as well as a lot of other dishes that I'm gonna be making. Got some liquid smoke. I got this because I really want to make vegan BLT and y'all know I use usually mushrooms for that and I like to use liquid smoke to give it that really like smoked authentic flavor. Got a thing of lemonade. Oh. Something else in here. <laughs> Organic high protein, super firm tofu. Got these marinated artichoke hearts. Lately, I've been really into artichokes. I find them quite delicious. And with these, I'm gonna just like grill them up, get them nice and charred. And I think they'll be really good. I don't think I've had this specific kind before, but it should be really good. I got this A-Care Brightening Facial Scrub. Y'all know this is my holy grail go-to scrub. I've used this every single day for years. Really love it still. So I had to get some more of that because we're running low. I got this Himalaya Botanique Whitening Complete Care Toothpaste. This is the toothpaste that I usually use all the time. Lastly, this EO Organic Deodorant and Centering Citrus Scent. Usually I get this in the lavender scent. Don't think I've ever gotten it in this scent before, but they didn't have any of the lavender and I was like, okay, I'll just try this. It smelled pretty okay. You know, the citrus is very light and fresh smelling, but I would have preferred the lavender. I layer my deodorants, if you didn't know. Well, I don't think I told you guys, so you don't know. <laughs> but I layer my deodorants now, so I first put on native deodorant. Let me grab it and I'll show you what I use. Okay, so I use the native deodorant, the sensitive one. So I put this on first, and then I go over this with the EO spray. I layer my deodorant just to make sure I'm always fresh. And y'all know I love aluminum free, more natural deodorant, so this is my combination. Also went to Target and got some sneakers. These I actually picked up from them. Okay, real quick. I also went to Target and got some sneakers because my feet after pregnancy have gotten bigger for sure. And my usual walking, running, exercise sneakers, they just are too tight. They're uncomfortable when I go walking. And I was like, I really need some new sneakers to, you know, walk and work out in. Just wanted some that were inexpensive. 
you know, I wasn't trying to go crazy. So I was like, let me see if Target has something that I could wear. And I got <laughs> these, they're pretty cute. They're not like the most stylish shoes, but I'm not going for style, I'm going for comfort. And um, this says it has memory foam, relaxed fit, contours to most foot shapes. So yeah. So I got these, I got them from the men's section and I tried them on, they feel pretty good. And then I also got this, ouch, <laughs> this faux banana leaf plant. Um, we already have one in here and I really like that plant and I wanted to get another for another part of the house. So got that plant, got my shoes. I am super hungry, I'm about to eat. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a chickpea omelet. My go-to chickpea omelet, cause I really don't, Feel like thinking too much about what to make and I just want something that's quick and easy and that's gonna fill me up so let's do that and then I have a bunch of work to do today also this kitchen needs to be clean I feel like there's dishes all the time in this sink and it drives me crazy <laughs> especially like washing bottles constantly washing bottles anyway let me go eat because I'm getting a little rumble in the tumble Mm -hmm. I'm making a little tea to go with this. 